Hey, Everywhere I go, I'm like a magnet for other guys staring me down. Oh, I'll whoa. just be going about my day and I'll catch eye contact with another guy and I'll wonder, hey, why are they staring at me? You, you keep looking. You never break that eye contact. Dude, I'll tell you what right now. I fucking look at them. This is, this is my advice to you. If I ever give good advice, this is the advice that I give to you in, in Lifeline. Look at them. And when they're looking at you, imagine yourself eating them. Runk. <laughs>recording right now welcome to lifeline episode 51 52 what is it i don't know happy birthday oh. to you <laughs> happy birthday <laughs> to you happy the worst birthday intro to anything of all time. dear <laughs> my brother chris <laughs> happy birthing <laughs> day to you Dude, so, they, how's it feel? 43. It feels good. They got me a cake. That's amazing. You guys got me a cake. I, feel, I appreciate it. I took a picture of it. We'll play it right here. It says Life Pips. It's so guys, fucking sloppy. Who wrote that? You, a blind person? Honestly, how did you not get the R? That it, It's so bad. You obviously had it professionally done, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why did... <laughs> I mean, did you buy like the, the, the squirty shit? Oh, and of just course. did it yourself? I was worried that they weren't going to do it in time. If I asked them to do it. So yeah, we had a little cake frosting left over from the live show. Uh, and I almost ran out. And so I did that. I know it's very sloppy, but. We life almost pips. ran out there. So we didn't have enough for the extra leg of the R. So life pips. Yeah. Um, it smells fantastic. I'm going to eat it in a little bit here. Um, and I got um, a uh, happy birthday from all you guys. From Chris and Anthony. Not you. Didn't say it. Yeah. And then you got me also. A face mask. Because you're old now. They want you to lose your wrinkles and shit. I've never had a face mask before in my life. But I always see Kristen has face masks and shit. So They're for wrinkles, right? I, I mean, I don't know. It's suppo you're supposed to keep up with it. Like, it's way too late for me to start now. No. Well, you start, it's starting anytime you want with I the know. Face mask. My buddy Andy Kozell has been doing them forever. He's been doing Andy like... Andy does them? Yeah. Dude, that's hilarious. But you know, Why? Because he's, he's 65. He looks great. <laughs> no, he's... Yeah. He's 40-something. But... um. It looks great. I got shows. Uh, hey, at this point, we'll be ha we'll have done Minneapolis, yeah, the yeah. special. Um, so yeah, hell yeah, dude! Thanks for coming out, Minneapolis. It, it went great. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so tour tickets at chrislee.com will be in Columbus and Cle uh, No, not Cleveland. I will be in Cleveland, but I didn't announce that yet. So here we go. Oops. Uh, yeah, uh, Columbus, Ohio, and Cincinnati and Milwaukee. Or no, that'll be old. That'll be I would have Oops. done Milwaukee. So uh, wait. So what am I doing here? I'm doing Tucson, Salt Lake City, um, Colorado Springs, Pueblo, and uh, Tucson. Those are the new ones that we put out there. Uh, chrislee.com. When you say Tucson, do you ever think? Tucson, Arizona. No. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, and move on. No. Giddy up, giddy ghetto up. Ghetto Cowboy. What? Ghetto, ghetto cowboy. cowboy. You ever think about that? What's Ghetto Cowboy? The song by oh. Crazy Bone? But when, no, no, no. Oh, Crazy Bone, my favorite rapper. Who's, which one's the, the one that did Ghetto Cowboy? I think it was Mo Thugs. It was Mo Thugs. But who's the one with the deep voice? The, the bone thug with the deep voice? Uh, I don't busy know. Busy Bone? No. No. No, not Busy, busy, no. busy Bone's fucking pat in the motherfucking in yeah, a rap. What's that, that guy's name? I don't know. I think deep, he's crazy bone. Deep bone. Um, deep, deep voice bone. So, so the whole thing is you can get the merch here. The lifeline, the purple pen, 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 pen Matt, Matt, that Matt's wearing. Look at that hoodie. It's really nice. Christ, the way you're doing it. The worst model <laughs> on a lazy Susan. In the pool. In the pool. <laughs> Dude, surfing. So, <laughs> so you can go get that at uh, uh, lifelinemerch.com or you can go get sessions with Matt one-on-one. -on -one Matt at, at Matt. Delia.com. This merch though, for real, it looks good on camera, but I'm telling you, yeah, it feels nice. even it's better. Really nice. It's nice. I mean, like the purple and like the pimp, pimp, pimp. I can't yep. wait to see it on my show. Set it so fast. Uh, I remember if it doesn't say my machine, it's not the real thing. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, dude. Um, uh, I thought the rain was going to stop. Didn't stop. Still was ra it's still raining when we're shooting this today. Got pissed off. I can't get my car washed. Dude, when's the last time I get car washed? I let the rain do it. I not watching it, man. But I let the rain do it. I don't ever get my car washed. I mean, ever? 
I don't do it. I, I, I you, it's gonna rain. I know, but some point it will rain in LA. It, but yeah, but that doesn't mean that you can't have a nice, clean car for like not. You know, it, sometimes it doesn't rain for months. It's true. The um, interior of my car folded. Every car that I've ever had, the interior is a fucking mess. Folded, caved you. No, no, I mean, that's true. I just, I always wait for the rain. It's like every time I fucking get my dog groomed, mm -hmm. it rains the next day, and yeah. then she smells like shit ass again. Right, 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 Oops, right. Bleep that. But she smells no, it's okay like shnash ass. <laughs> Can you even say ass? You can't say anything anymore. Come on, YouTube. No, it's okay. Which is Mr. Rogers? Yeah, Mr. Rogers tube. So um, <laughs> I feel like. I feel like you have to get your car washed a little bit sometimes, okay? I, you know, Great. every time I go drive by one, I think I should do that. I just, wow. I never do it. And you don't do it. I never do it. Uh, I think that, uh, well, I, what I want to know is people in Seattle, I get, like, I wouldn't even, at that point, I would just get a beater. I wouldn't even get a nice car. I mean, maybe I would get a nice big car, but like, there's fucking no reason to have a sports car in anywhere where there, it's raining because it never looks nice. Uh, you think about that i'm thinking like having thinking. a really cool nice porsche I'm not, dude the, here's the thing though i'm not the way you are about stuff. cars i know i'm not that way you're not that way I, the way you are, I, I am about things you're not that way yeah things are not for me like i'm like wow nice watch never good i got these glasses the other day love them. i was actually gonna say those are nice glasses oh, do you like them yeah. yeah they're not expensive or anything they're i make an now. exception for eyewear i do like really? glasses because yeah. you wear glasses because i wear them yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. gotcha because uh, i need to wear them. right right yeah about contacts though get the color contacts Wow. Color contacts? If you got color contacts and they were like frost. Yeah, that would be sick, actually. Dude, you would be so sexy. What I might do is dye my hair blonde. That might be my next step in my evolution. What Dude, do you think? That comment, is... comment on it. Let me know. I might dye my hair blonde, like Kurt Cobain blonde style. You know what I was yeah. doing? I saw there's this app called Lenza. Is that what it's called? Anyway, you put your thing in. You could change everything. I was... I heard a guy talking about it online, so I got it because I want to do a joke and just send pictures of myself to okay. everyone. Actually, I did. I made this on it. Did I send it to you? I don't know. Let me send it to you guys, and then this way you can post it. But um, and uh, and so I wanted to. Yeah, look at this. You, you'll see, audience. It'll be up here now. And so, uh, you can make your everything different color. You can make your cheeks smaller. Like it's, chicks use it for. You know it, what I mean? It's like, called Lenza. Yeah, but chicks use it for um, like you know making it look like they have more of an hourglass figure and stuff like that. Uh, like they post stuff and they look... Yes, uh, like Photoshop. Yeah, yeah it's, oh, it's terrible, wow. right? But like, look what you can do. You can do like all sorts of things. It says uh, falling in love. Whoa, but that's, that's just a, a filter. That's not what know. I want yeah, no, to no, be no looking shit. at. No shit. So um, I did was messing around with it and I put my hair in. My, my hair was pink on it. And oh, I, I was wanted, like, ooh, I maybe I should that. fucking dye my hair pink. And then I realized I looked like that that shooter that shot up the movie theater in uh, Aurora, Colorado. Oh, yeah. James, like, he, have uh, he did, yeah. Mm -hmm. James Lipton. <laughs> What's James your favorite the giant peach. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I knew you'd like that, man. I knew you'd like that. It's so stupid. I knew it. Why do you like stupid shit like that, man? <laughs> I've always... La this it pisses me off when I when I'm laughing and I say that's so stupid. People are like, "What do you mean? Like you're laughing?" And I'm like, "No, yeah, that's I'm why I'm saying funny. that's so great. Like yeah. that's so stupid. It's so funny. Yeah, it, it's just the dumbest. The are, dumber the joke, the better. You know, dude. Especially if black people are like you are, like, like Denny, my, the guy, the, the comedian who opens for me on the road. Mm -hmm. He was like, "You stupid man," and I yeah. was like, "Man, that's such a compliment." You it know? is. Yeah. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 I love it. We're black. Me and you. Nice. Is what we're saying. Nice. You got Alfred's coffee. Now, what do we agree on that? It's bad. What'd you it's get? It's amazing. It's the regular uh, hot coffee? No, it's not. It's the vanilla latte. The oh, world, wow. The world famous vanilla latte that oh, I get from yeah. there. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Well, that's good, man. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know that it was, I didn't know that you were going to do it. We've been thinking about maybe doing an extra episode or something like that a month for Patreon. We were thinking about flirting with a Patreon thing here. We're not sure if we're going to do it, uh, but we do want to maybe do a Patreon. What are your ideas, man? You know, somebody, you know, what are your ideas? Write, write in uh, if you want some more content or whatever. We may do it. Uh, we won't take anything away, but we're, yeah. we're probably going to, we may add some stuff and do a Patreon. Would you be down for that? We don't know. Yeah. But. What it is now will always be what it is now. We would add extra stuff. And I know you already said that, but I'm saying it better. No, now, put some poetry. How what I suggest is you tell us what you want and then maybe we'll consider doing it but uh yeah, yeah. uh cool. all of our ideas are pretty boring so give us some good ones they're like four yeah 40 extra episodes a month yeah they uh, might not be doable but something yeah something, oh, wow that was that that, that sounded so much like a fart yeah. i don't know um i don't know but uh so we'll see what happens nice with these oh those are shoes and now they're on the table off of which learning english we eat 
what's up i don't know what's up with them oh wait who makes those balenciaga nice i knew it i actually knew I thought that you like yeah, it yeah 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 people are gonna probably think you uh you know is balenciaga out of the woods yet with their whole scandal oh nice. yeah with the good good because that was real dumb and i like wearing my lency so oh do people say stuff to you no okay nobody hey says why are you wearing that dude nobody says anything to me they're afraid to come up to me on the street i'm always walking around like this oh that's bad to do that it's very unfriendly no it's wow. just, it's people so people don't talk to me i mean you look i hate when changers talk to me so i always go around like this i, I mean clinics, for those who are only clinics, listening clinics, I'm, clinics, grim I'm grimacing i'm sticking my jaw out a little bit yeah. sometimes when people start when people approach me anyway yeah. they get closer and i go <clears throat> That's bad about sling blade. So, um, <laughs> all right. So, uh, well, let's go. Let's get into it, guys. <clears throat> I'm right. losing my voice. I need to. Yeah, you sound uh, congested too. Well, it's just that I'm really, I'm very uh, cool. Oh, no, I'm not. Con oh. I'm a little congested. No, you sound congested? congested. Yeah. No. It's just early <laughs> in the morning. What's up, guys? Going for you. So, I live with my brother. He's 21. He kind of makes the best roommate in the world because he never leaves his room, but uh, also he never leaves his room. Right. So. Yeah. All he does is play Xbox. He Uber eats every meal. Wow. I can't get him to do anything. We own the house together, so there's a lot to do around the house, a lot of things to fix up and just maintain. I mean, um, he just, that's weird. I'm kind of worried that he's going to turn into a loser if he keeps this up, but then again, he's also only 21. Yeah. So how do I approach this? Do I let it ride out? Do I have like a sit down with him? Um, yeah. Do I do nothing at all? Right. Let me know. Uh, right. Thanks, that's guys. A, that's a really good Good, Imagine good, good down. question. Hey, man, you got to leave your room. No, dude, I think that's what you might have you're, to do. You're in your room too much. No, you start don't with say him, that. Start, leave, start with him leaving the door open a little bit. Like baby steps? Yeah, baby steps. <coughs> no, but like I think Calvin, leave the door open a little bit. It's a good thing. You're a good brother to actually worry about that because that is a real thing. People, dude, mm -hmm. people. Complacent. Some people just, I mean, I know you're saying this is what your brother does, but it could, turns into a habit and these people just don't leave their room for like forever ever yeah like i've known people who get addicted to games and they mm -hmm. they like don't Never they go weeks without yep. leaving their home we or have even a third brother did you know that yeah yeah he's um, still he's still in the room playing a so, video game somewhere <coughs> yeah it's just uh it's it i think that honestly you uh he's 21 it might be okay but here's the other thing too is like covid messed it up for a lot of people like so now for the past three years I'm sure he got used to doing that because he had to, and mm. now he's fucking stuck. So it's a bit of a cycle of like, you know what I mean? He's yeah. addicted to the lifestyle. Yeah, He's addicted yeah. to the game. You know what I mean? The actual literal game, if he's literal game, if he's playing video games. Wow, COVID fucked up so many people's yep. lives. Remember all our friends that lost our minds? Yeah, actually. I'm addicted to the game, dude. Yeah. I'm addicted to the game. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Dude, so I can... unsympathetic to those people who lost their minds, you know? Um, <laughs> what, what, because did the Tupac thing? Yeah. So, Addicted but, to the gang. <laughs> I think, uh, well, uh, Bill Clinton, what you just did. <laughs> <laughs> no way, dude. I was listening to Tupac the other day. God damn, he really is so good. I was like, why don't I listen to him more? You know he's my favorite. You know that. <laughs> of obviously. course, yeah. I'm like, why don't, I, why don't I listen to him more? Oh, dude, it pisses me off so much how you are about getting out of a car when a Tupac song is playing. It used to be like that. N nothing made me more mad about anything you ever did than that. He used to Fact. never get, if the, if we arrived somewhere and it did was time this? to get out of the car, when a Tupac song was playing, he'd have to just wait till the song ended to pay, be paying respect to Tupac. Uh, dweeb. God bless the dead. Dweeb. Okay. Um, Didn't Bill like yell at him once? Yeah, or? dude, of course. Yelled at me. Because that's so yelled annoying. Yelled at me. He was like, we got to go to fucking dinner and i'm like i can't there's the two parkers on i gotta <laughs> wow, wow 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 dude and he was like everyone's fucking waiting for you everyone was in the car like this yeah looking looking at me in my car and i was, I was like i, I, I can't <laughs> and then finally i was like fine i turned it off i felt so oh, bad i remember the whole that dinner. Oh, so dude. so so that made me feel bad during the whole dinner well he should have made you feel bad because that's idiotic that was the first time i ever did that in my life uh, this is the first time i ever did that in my life <laughs> why well, are you southern right there <laughs> but dude it's so he's so good dude dad uh so wait this guy though you gotta you you have to talk to him about it and even if obviously you should start by being like hey like let's do this let's do that let's do that and even if you have to guilt him into it doesn't matter still do it if he's not coming out of his room even when you ask him to or tell him to to tend to real life shit then you gotta have a real mm -hmm. talk like man-to-man -man talk with him be like yo i know you're young you're 21 but that you're not 12 you're an adult now. You got to act like one. You got to live in the world. You can play your video games in downtime, but you got to also live in the world with other human beings. We're, more than anything else, we're social animals. You can't just be alone all the time. The guy will just be like, I don't have to leave. But he does. Why? 
because he's going to get mad depressed. Wow. He's probably going to have start getting like health problems mm -hmm. and shit because you need to be outside to be healthy. You also need to be in communication with other people in person to be healthy. That's a real thing. <laughs> you it need sounds to do that? like mumbo jumbo bullshit, but you need to be social mm. and not on your fucking headset while you're playing Holy Warcraft or whatever the fuck. It's Holy <laughs> Warcraft, dude. <laughs> Holy Warcraft. The world of Holy Warcraft. <laughs> the worst title of any. Actually, Holy Warcraft. Holy Warcraft sounds sick, yeah. I would go see a movie with Holy Warcraft. Yeah. Who's he? Who's Holy Warcraft? Uh, uh, yeah, no, two that would be. Tickets under good, Warcraft? That would be a good uh, good video game, Holy Warcraft. The po You're the Pope? Yep. Yeah. And you have to use a gun even though you don't want to because it's sinning, but you have to. Right, 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 right. But also, uh, the Pope is uh, hospitalized. You read about this? Because he's so sick? Yeah, because, yeah. Because with that drip with the jacket? Dude. Dude. It's not real. How fucked and fooled did you get, though? I did. I, I fully 100% thought it was real. AI duped me, dude. AI duped me. We gotta zoom so real fucked. close in and look at the hands. We're all so fucked, I know, dude. I know. Life's over. Yeah. We might this as well not, we're all not even here right it now. in, dude. It's not even... Exactly. It's just the, this is the tip of the fucking iceberg. AI is here just to fucking ruin everything. I mean, think about like presidential like speeches. I know. And, like, I mean, we're just we're done. Fucked, dude. We're done. We're yeah. done. You know what? I, I I the video I watch these videos um, of all these boomers like they get scammed online. Oh yeah, it's kind of like catfish, but it's an online show. Yeah, yeah, Scamfish. Yeah. I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, you love it. I love it. And these old people, their brains are. It, we as younger people are like, oh, they're so dumb. They're not dumb. Yeah. Their brains are just not ready for what the internet had to offer. Right. They're not, they're not, their brain, like they're not, their brains are done forming right. and they, they can't do it. They cannot right. figure it out that that is a scammer, that the person on the other side of this is not that super sexy man with the fucking stubble beard who's like looking at the camera with yeah, the rose. Like Captain it's some Inari. guy in Nigeria yeah. just like on a headset doing this to 20 other people at the same time. Yeah, dude. You know? Man, would you? I be. I bet I would get. I would be so. I bet I would love that job. Okay, but, but real, okay. real quick. Okay. My point was that's going to be us with AI. Like we are so not ready to have a world yeah. where AI is so prevalent. We're Whoa. all going to be like those old people who are fucking idiots getting right. scammed by Nigerians. Like the kids are going to grow up and yeah. just be like, they're going to literally see a video and they're going to be like, well, who knows if that's real? They'll be like, hip that's, to it. Their yeah. default yes. is like, and ours is like. Not that. Yeah. Ours is. I oh, saw. That's, I yeah, saw yeah, Trump yeah. fucking a donkey. He fucked a donkey. I swear to God. <laughs> like you the, know, like the Black Mirror, right? Wasn't that the one where he fucked the pig? Oh right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that's the first episode. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you know, it's the first episode. Talk. Okay, dude. I saw that show Rabbit Hole. Don't know it. You don't with Kiefer Sutherland in Paramount oh, Plus. Oh, I, I saw an ad for it. I don't know the show though. You, bro, you know you see that fucking ad for that show, and I'm like, is it 24? Basically, you, you know I see that, and I'm like, oh, dude, my nights are. They're done for now. I'm what just going to watch the whole thing. What's rabbit hole? So basically, it's kind of like that. You're like getting people too close to me, yeah. Do with the AI, with the AI and all this <laughs> shit. And like they put stuff in and they, they scam people that way. And um, and I watched two whole episodes and I, and I don't have a fucking clue. Dude, it was so bad. Dude, oh, really? it's so bad that even I can't watch it. It's hmm. so bad that, um, what do you call it? I was watching it and they try to, it's a little bit like 24 in the, in the suspense style, not the keepers in it. So it's yeah. like 24. Yeah. Yeah. If he wasn't in, I wouldn't think that, but, right. um, but dude, it literally, they try to have humor in it, which is so weird. It's if you drama? think about it, like a yeah. thriller. Okay. Yeah. But they try to have like banter. Oh yeah. Okay, where they're yeah. like, it's very 30 years ago. That, that kind of thing. You know? Yeah, dude. It's like you make, the, they're like, they're like, uh, that's not the face you're supposed to make if you're doing this and it, it, like not that's not a line but like that's the style and you're just like oh they're bantering it's like fucking George Costanza should be in it. Uh, yeah what's it about though you don't even know dude how could it exist and nobody knows what the it, show's it, about it, it, it I watched two episodes so he basically um gets a job to try and he has to like get two people together and have it look like they're colluding so they can take a picture oh, of it oh okay so, yeah so yeah. he he does this whole fucking thing where he's like, all right, we're going to pick the person up and pretend we're a cabbie and then oh, right, drive okay, them, yeah, yeah, pick yeah. them the wrong way. And then, wow. You know, wow. Sounds until, like somebody drops sounds something, awful. they pick up and give it to the other one. They snap the shot. What's it on? Uh, 
Paramount Plus. Oh, okay. Which I like. I like Paramount Plus. I do too. But um, you know why American Animals on Paramount? It Plus? is. Yeah. Oh, Matt's movie. Yeah. Why don't you ever say movies on it? Paramount Plus, American Animal. It's yeah. the only place to stream it in its finest yeah. form. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. so also the Beavis and Butthead movies on there. So let's get. Oh, to I, I saw. I have to watch. What? Wait, the, the old one? No, the, the new, new, the one. new. That's not a movie. It's a series. No, it's a movie. It is. Yeah, I have dude, to watch it's it. Fucking hilarious. Okay, cool. So anyway, uh, this is a bit off the rails of this podcast. So um, he does that. And then at the end of the first episode, I'm not ruining it because the first episode is a pilot. It's what it's about. Um, you find out that the guy that he tried to set take the picture with and the woman, th they die. And everyone thinks it's him. Because he did all this? Because he did all this shit. And it's like, was I set up by the dude? Uh. And then at the end of the episode... He goes home and the guy, this is so weird. The guy who he took was in the picture that was dead is now at his house all tied up. What? And Kiefer Sutherland is like looking at him eating an apple. What? That's not good. Thank dude, you. It's just like so, We're going to go with another idea, but so thanks much, for coming in. So, so do you want to buy it? 20 million. <laughs> so, dude, that's the, every episode costs 3 million. So, dude, and then the second episode is just like more of that. And I'm just like, you know what? I actually can't do this. It sounds a little too heady, yeah. Yeah. But also that with Kiefer Sutherland, that doesn't sound like the right mix. Yeah. Kiefer Sutherland is like for dumb shows. I know. Like I dumb know. minds, you know? In the good way. I, I know. Yeah. It, yeah, popcorn. But yeah. this is maybe that, but but just biting off a little bit more that it can chew, you know? Okay. Okay, well, don't watch Rabbit Hole. Watch American <coughs> Animal on Paramount+. Plus. Uh, yeah, you got to talk to your fucking loser-ass brother. Okay, what's next? Oh, well, I'm losing my voice. Great. Hey, Chris and Matt. Love the podcast. Chris, we saw you in Lakeland. You were phenomenal. Matt, you're awesome. Thank you. Uh, my name is Amanda. I'm a middle school art teacher. Cool. I work in a K-8, and here's my wow. problem. My classroom next door neighbor is the elementary school teacher. This guy has no boundaries. Oh. He comes in my classroom all the time unannounced. What? He gives me way informa more information about his personal life than I would ever need. And recently, I found out he's been stealing my lesson plans. So what? the first time, I called him out, and he just like acted like it was a coincidence. He had no idea. And then I found another one of my projects that he's doing. And the issue is that his fifth graders this year are going to come to me next year and going to be like, right. we've already done this. Right. Wow. So I'm just wondering if you have any advices. What should I do? Let me know. Thanks. Dude. Okay. That's the kind of situation you got to rat his ass out. That's You got to rat his ass out. You confronted him. He didn't want to confess. Yeah, he doesn't want to change. You did the right thing by confronting yeah. him. Yeah. You got to rat his ass out. Go to the principal straight up. doesn't matter. And if Ugh. he's like, how could you do that to me? He'd be like, what do you mean? No. You didn't stop when I confronted That's you. That's a rat. Yeah, you got to rat his That's ass out. That's a rat. Or unless you say, yo, I'm going to have to fucking go above you if you don't stop doing So you think he, she should talk to him one more time and say that? I don't like being a rat, but he that guy's putting her in an awful position. That's what I'm saying. You yeah. can't, she can't win without a, an appeal to authority. If right. he's just going to keep doing it, right. uh, nobody's going to know if she doesn't say something. And then she's going to look bad because, or rather, she's going to have to do extra work. Right. And she does have to say something because honestly, it's directly it's affecting the kids dumber. It's also directly affecting her work and have, making her do more work in the long run. So say if you don't stop, I'm going to have to rat you out. And then if he still does it, rat him out. Yeah, or rat him out, honestly. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't... You already yeah. gave him a shot. Yeah, exactly. That's what I think. You're not, in, the, you're not in any sort of wrong. Dude, that's wild. If you want to do extra, like, give him the benefit of the doubt, you can warn him one more time. But I, yeah, I would definitely not. You already did. Uh, I want to know how you prove that someone is stealing your lesson plan. Talk to the kids. No, I I understand. But like, how do you know that? I'm sure like it's kind of the same shit you have. There's curriculum. Okay. Like the so school you're asking provides. how do you prove it? Not how do you prove it, but how do you even know? How are you so cocksure he's stealing the lesson plan? How do they differ? How much do they differ to where it's like, do you know what I'm saying? I don't, I, I'm, I'm assuming she has more than just like a hunch though. But what I'm saying is crazy guy, I dude. To clean my, it got dirty. Wow. So what I'm saying is though, is like in a lesson plan, uh, you, like you have to go over what World War One, World War Two, fucking if it's history, and then she he's going over World War One, yeah. World War Two. How do you how do you say you stole that? You understand what I'm saying? I do, but like that what is the lesson plan? Part because it's it? more specific than just World War One. It's a specific lesson and exercise and class project. Right. So the project, he's stealing maybe. exactly what those things are. Right. So you, what I got from Yo, that. I had them do a poster board of fucking, you know, the Spanish Inquisition. Right. Yeah, this guy's yeah. doing a poster board yeah. of the Spanish That's Inquisition. That's not what it is. That's not what they're doing. But yeah. Well, how do you know that? Because she teaches K through eight. She's not teaching about the Spanish Inquisition, you know? 
What's the Spanish Inquisition? Yeah. Yeah. What's, What's a bayonet? Well, you can impale someone with it. <laughs> well, <Wah. laughs> um, yeah, no, they're not learning about yeah, that yeah. yet, if at all. All right. Okay, so do that. Yep. Hey, Chris. Hey, Matt. I just want to get your guys' opinion on your friends well, dating your ex-girlfriends. Uh, what you guys think about that? Mm. Is that crossing the line or whatever? Um, Sounds good. Kind of confused right now just because oh. I have oh. that going on in my life. My One of my friends is let me know that he's going to be in a relationship with one of my ex-girlfriends. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, I- is that like bro code or, or what? Um, let me Let me know what you guys think. Uh, Chris, I'll see you April 1st, Minneapolis. Hey. Peace. Sick. That'll be there too. Sick, sick, sick. Chris.com. Dude, get, fucking I get over spe- it. I have a specific opinion about this, but go ahead. I think you just get over it, bro. Try to get over it. Because well, it does no nobody it's not doing nobody any good. Of course try to get over right, it. But if you my can. yeah. Right. But if it's really here's the thing. If if it was a very recent relationship, yeah, then there's a real issue with That's what's up, up with that dude. friend. Yeah. That's not a good friend. No, it's fucked up. Uh and it, but assuming it's been ample time if you're still upset about it that's kind of on you it's still very annoying but like you got to roll with the punches and let it go if it's been like two years bro but also here's the thing it's good for you if it bothers you because you still like her or whatever then it's good anyway to act like you don't care so either act like you don't care or don't care either one is good but why is it good for him to act like he doesn't care? Because it certainly isn't good for him to act like he cares. Well, it, unless he's like, you know what? Fuck my friend. I don't want to have anything to do with him. And that's bullshit of my ex. And I'm not speaking to him ever again. Well, yeah, I guess you could also do that. I'm yeah, assume, that's I, good for him. Well, yeah, but I'm saying if you like want right. to engage yeah, in yeah, friendship yeah. warfare, you know, like some Sun Tzu oh, Machiavelli shit. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I yeah, mean, obviously the, the best uh, route is just to bye. Yeah. Bye bye. So, ta ta. Ta ta. What if you did that? Au revoir. Well, the clicking of your uh, ta, rings. Ta ta. Bye bye. Au revoir. What else is there? No. So. Konnichiwa. Whatever the fuck. No, that does, I think that's hello. Oh, mushy, okay. mushy. Um, That's hello. Um, okay. So, also, it should just be mushy, huh? Too long. Mushy, mushy. Yeah. yeah. Mushy. Just mushy, dude. Moshi. Moshi? Moshi. How do you know it's mushy? So you spell it M O. Moshi, mushy. Mushy, mushy. I like mushy. Well, sometimes it sounds like that because they say it fast, you know? Uh, yeah, all right. Look, so I think that, honestly, it, the time is a big factor. Like, if it's yeah. a, a month, that's bullshit of, of him, you know? Because also, if it's a month, it's also longer than a month. That's the thing. They've been lying to you for a little bit. You got to know that. Well, no, here's the thing, though. <laughs> if it's been a long time and, like you said, your friend came to you and was like, hey, I yeah. wanted to let you know, yeah. then he kind of did it right. He did do it he, right. He came correct. If you found out about it, and then the friend was like, ah, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, man. I, I wanted to tell you, but didn't know how. Like, that, that's shitty. But if the friend was even, had the, not courtesy, but like, your friend respects the you. The the... If he comes to you and says, look, I know you guys had a relationship, but like, her and I know each other, and I don't know right. what's going on, but like, I really want to take her, like, you know, whatever, on a date, or I really want to start yeah. dating her, uh, and I just want to let you know. You know, it's not like he's asking you. He doesn't have to ask you. But uh-huh. he's doing the right thing by coming to you and telling you that this is what he plans on doing. I don't think that you have very solid ground to stand on to be legit pissed. Unless, again, unless it was very recent. Uh, and I'm talking like within a year. Mm-hmm. I think a year is a pretty A year good, is a good benchmark, yeah. 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 Um, but, you know, <clears throat> it's a tough thing. I don't care if my, my buddies go out with my exes, but like... I don't know. It is me. weird, though. I'm kind of like a real, I, I, I real strong agree with guy. Him. I'm, I, I'm like, stuff doesn't bother me. Like I'm a stone wall, you know. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, yeah, so I'm a real man. I mean, like, I know it's cool to like show your emotion, but like when I need to, bro. Yeah. I can just be a fucking stone wall. Okay. Well, that's actually not yep. good. Nothing bothers me. It's not good. That, I could that, see you're gonna get an ulcer. someone I love get murdered in front of me. <laughs> and just honestly, go about my day if I need to. Right. Okay. Because well, I've you're a terrible person. No, it's like you know Jason Statham in the beginning of movies. That's what I'm like. I'm familiar. Oh, right. Before yeah. he gets like talked back into caring about stuff. One hundred percent. I don't do that, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's not for me. I just murder. Like And then like a little Chinese girl arrives. Oh yeah. yeah. And he's like, You remind me of my daughter. <laughs> she died. Yeah. Ah fuck now I'm I'm all conflicted and shit. 
Wow, worst ah. script, worst script ever. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Now someone kidnapped her? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, I gotta go get her. Fucking God damn it. Oh, well, shit. imagine if there really time, was a script like time, that. Time to go into the basement and fucking hit the button and have the walls all open up and have there be fucking 165 million guns that I haven't used. Cut. <laughs> Jason's ad-libbing again. You're, you're blowing it. We have the shot already. We shot that scene and you're blowing it. He doesn't need to say it. All right. Saw Rambo the other night. Which, what Rambo? Last Blood. Last Blood? The last one. The very last one. Yeah. Wow, where Stallone's like 74. Dude, you know I love Stallone. Yeah, I know that. He's a bud. He is a bud of yours. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Love Stallone. He was gangster in that movie. Gangster. Well, he's fucking Rambo. Of course he was. But it's more gangster. What are they going to have him be a pussy? And he's okay. just, dude, he's barely, he's so, talk about stone cold like me. Yeah, okay. Dude. Hey, 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 no, you know what I do? No, no, you know, no, don't. No. What's what? That's the are you, scene. Are you okay? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, just he fucking, a he, dude, he pulled out a guy's heart in the movie. Come on, cut it out, cut it out, or pulled it out. Cut st goes like this with the knife, and then goes, Why he pulls it out because he wanted the guy to know that that's how it feels. That's that. That happened to him first? Well, it, it, metaphorically, it, it happened to him because he lost someone that was like a daughter to him. That's so stupid. Because people talk about broken hearts. Like, it's not literal. It's it not was like in Rambo Last Blood. It's not like when your you daughter dies, you go, ah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Ah, my heart broke. It, it was you know? for him, though. He said, this is how it feels. <clears throat> and he was going like this. And the guy was just like, ah, because he was, because before that, he took fucking bow and arrows and he stuck up. Okay. Okay, good acting. Way far away. That was good acting. Well, how I did it? Yeah. Because like I was a mime. Yeah, yeah, it was good. You think it was good. Now stop making me have to repeat it. Yes, okay. it was good. Because of can you just say though? <laughs> that it was because of how I because so, of how your body I, did and the sound effects and all that. You understood yeah. what was going on. It was clear. On. Yeah. Right. Okay. So he's like that, and then he go and then he fucking hops down, walks across the barn, and goes, "This is how it feels," Ugh! and he just goes. Ugh, uh, like he's giving the worst HJ of all time, just uh, uh, <laughs> and then he goes, uh, and he goes, uh, and I'm watching it with um, David. Was Kristen awake still? No, it was of course uh, not. Sam. Of course not, because that was happening. No, it was Sam <laughs> Sheik. No, Sam, my videographer. Oh, Sam, and okay, he yeah. says, "Take a bite, dude." If he took a bite, it oh, would have right, gone right, from right. a movie that I simply had seen to top ten movies of all time I've ever seen. Right. If at the end he goes. Uh, and eats the heart come on bro i don't know if that would be good but okay i i, I understand that you would love it all yeah. right yeah yeah it's already ridiculous to cut the heart out if yeah they really went for it dude there's too many rambos and then and then all of a sudden like after that a, a mexican dude it cuts him and he goes ah dios mio like oh the greatest movie of all time it's like an snl sketch yeah all right well i don't even remember what the question was yeah, I don't either, but that's definitely you should not eat somebody's heart. I think that cut someone's heart out. Oh, the boyfriend. And that's the, the, the answer. Girlfriend. Oh, right. Friend. Yeah, and then if he does that to you. He could do that, yeah. If he does that to you, be like, this is how it feels. And then cut his heart out, take out. But this time, take a bite out of it. Okay, but now Great if, you, if the guy takes that advice and does that, then you will be culpable. So take but it back. we do the thing in the beginning of the thing. was like, we're oh, not, right, we're right, not right. you know, this is not therapist. real. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, who's next? Hey, Chris. Hey, Matt. What's Love up? the show. I think you guys are really funny the way you interact with each other. Hates us! So my issue is Fucking hates everywhere us. I go, I'm like a magnet for other guys staring me down. Oh, I'll whoa. just be going about my day and I'll catch eye contact with another guy and I'll wonder, hey, why are they staring at me? And all of a sudden, now I'm in this dominance game of staring right. contest. Yeah. No, get out of it. And that. I'm like, this is so stupid. And I always look away. Right. I but would then say. I feel weak. No, 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 I don't, no, I, Like no, I just no. got dominated. No. So it's like it's lose, lose. Yeah. I keep staring and I'll probably wind up in a fight. And if I look away, I feel weak. No. So I'm just wondering, what do you guys do when that happens? And no, they're not staring because of the sweater. I don't usually wear this. All right. I was thank say. you. Yeah. You, you keep looking. You never break that eye contact. Dude, I'll tell you what right now, dude, when people stare at me, I was joking around. I said, I would do that too. I would not do that too. When people stare at me, I fucking look at them. This is this is my advice to you. If I ever give good advice, okay. This is the advice that I give to you in in Lifeline. Look at them and when they're looking at you, imagine yourself eating them. <laughs> Consume them. 
eat them, eat their, imagine eating their face, working your way down from the neck to the shoulders, then eating their chest oh. and Tommy, imagine like Pac-Man eating their, you know, cock balls, oh, take some time at the cock, right? I mean, eat it, just fucking make it nice, you know, just Stop. eat the cock, right? And then, eat, you know, all the way down. And then, and then, and, and, and as you're watching them, you get lost in this world of I'm eating this motherfucker. And you don't even think about the fact that you're there staring and you'll win because they'll be like, uh, uh. who are these people engaging in staring contests in the world? What if this guy's just, he doesn't know, but he's walking around just like, well, that, that, that was one of my two thoughts yeah. is like, maybe it you're, could be you. it's in your head now. So you're engaging it and you're triggering it. Like I, one time I thought this guy was following me when I was driving around uh -huh. and because I thought he was following me, I like started kind of following him Okay. and then he stopped and he was like, why the fuck are you following me? And I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, that's hilarious. You know, like <laughs> what a dumbass, <laughs> you know? Um, look, but, maybe this guy here, look at me. Like maybe this guy is doing what I'm doing. Like be looking at me. Watch. Okay. What's up? <laughs> like that's, you know, you never know, you know? The other thing I thought is maybe people th are like attracted to him. Yeah, like maybe man. he's like a, maybe the, honestly, maybe his prototype is a gay guy's dream, and he's just that's got what gay I was thinking. Because actually, at him. honestly, a gay guy I know rather well looks exactly like him, and it might be like you've not realized it, but you've dipped into like gay-looking territory. Oh, you know, he does look pretty clean and yeah, nice. like very clean. The sweater. Uh, I know he doesn't always wear the sweater, but if he's wearing shit like the that, the sweater made me think it. That he had a really manicured beard. Mm -hmm. Maybe like, t like edge out like get edgier you know yep, like look dude. sloppier yep and i bet it'll happen less get some fucking get a neck tattoo you know what i mean maybe do yeah. it like me as long as it's the right thing yeah because nobody thinks i'm gay and oh. dude and that would be okay if people i was people think i'm gay people used to think i was gay way more than they do now i had a guy one time get in the cab with me in new york uh, when I, I flagged it down i got in and this dude just opens the door slides in with me he's like where do you want to go i was like get the fuck out of here wow uh, even if you were gay, like to th that's you know, so the forward and surprising. Yeah. Like, hey, where do you want to go? To be like, wow, my house. <laughs> yeah, no, mm -hmm. it might have not been the right move, even if I was I don't, gay. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I've the the amount I've been hit on by gay guys is so little. Yeah, you don't seem very gay at okay. all. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I was gonna ask that because I mean, I'm talking about. <clears throat> it's been so minimal i can't even believe it maybe you're really ugly to gay guys no because i've been hit on by guys okay but i don't think i seem very i mean maybe i do i don't no, know but me i i'm i'm a good looking I'm, i got some shit going on right? no i don't think gay guys would like you what yeah i think gay guys would like me a lot more you think though that it's gay probably guys comment I'm... and talk about who you like more all right so now that you said that it's gonna be fucking they're gonna say you but it i'll take it to gay city like i straight up and you know, I know we joke around a lot, but like I'll, I will, I would be really good at doing all the gay stuff. So like now we can't say it, but we well, can't say it on the podcast. But you know what I'm talking about. So if you're on my, saying you would be good at being gay, BJ's. So and also just kind of taking care of. Okay, so are you gay? No, but okay. if I if I was, I would really go into it. You'd be killing head it. First. You'd be killing it. Yeah, gay. dude, because you know me, man. Oh, what? all of a sudden, oh, I got, ta you know, I, I started getting tattoos. I got all the tattoos. Right. You know? Yeah, addict start, mentality, yeah. Yeah, bro. I mean, I, well, the other day, I was, there was another one, too. Oh, I started shopping, getting stuff. Mm -hmm. I couldn't stop. Oh, bro, God, I'm what a, a terrible thing to be I told you how to. bad I felt after I was shopping. I didn't realize you spent too much. Well, what's too much? I don't know. Probably yeah. what you did. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, but I just like, oh, God. And in my head, I was like, I'll buy it. I'll wear it on stage. It's okay. And then I, like, I left, and I was like, what am I doing? I got green pants. Those pants were actually kind of cool. They are gangster, dude. Yeah. They look like the Riddler, though, kind of, which is well, fine. But Which is fine, but I didn't get the jacket that goes with it. Then it that would have been terrible. And there was yeah. also a hat with a big question mark on it. But... <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Well, the guy, yeah, maybe. First of all, what I would say is definitely you looking away is not you backing down and being weak. You looking away is spending your time better spending your time doing something else rather than looking at dudes like why would you want to do that you're not you're not gaining anything like what you're gonna what if the other guy looks away you oh oh, oh you won mm -hmm. uh, you're a fucking loser either way dude you should go like this you should keep looking at him and when he looks away even though he doesn't see you he hears you go yes <laughs> dude i described that really good and funny oh okay well i'm glad you thought so about okay. the thing you did all right next 
Me. Hey, uh, Chris. I'm your brother, Matt. <laughs> Matt. Yeah, I mean, what's up, man? Question. I love this guy. What do you guys do when your friend likes a girl, but the girl actually likes you? Oh, no. Oh! oh! Came. That, Came so hard <laughs> at the end. That, 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 that was the last guy on the planet that looks like he would have a nose ring, too. That guy killing it. You know what that guy reminded me of is Chris Moog. Mako. Yeah. Oh, Chris Moog. Doesn't know. This girl. Doesn't know. Girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris, Chris Moog. Right? Like, um, so, uh, well. We love Chris Moog. Um, I don't, dude. That's a, that is a good question. I think you don't do anything. Uh, unless you have feelings for the girl. Then, then everything's way complicated. But if you just happen to know a girl likes you. And if you're just trying to get horizontal. No, no, no. If you, if you have... No, I'm just saying, if, if a girl happens to know, if you happen to know a girl likes you, but your friend likes that girl, and you're the only one that knows both of those things, bye. I see what you're saying. I don't necessarily disagree with that. Like, um, don't get involved. But if you have feelings for her, then there's a whole tangle coming, and you better fucking straighten it out with your friend before anything happens. Yeah. Be because like, that's like, that's direct falling out shit. Yeah. So yeah. if you don't have feelings for her, don't. No harm, no foul. Don't say shit. But if you do, you're gonna to want to address it with your buddy before anything happens. Yeah, damn, it's crazy. That is wild how that shit happens. That happens all the time. I yep. mean, five years know ago, the same people. Five years ago, I would have fucked the woman and also the man. Oh, yeah. You're just sounding more and more gay as the show goes on. Good. Why? Because you said because I went shopping. No, because you said you fucked the guy five years ago. <laughs> uh, but it's all good. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. If you don't have feelings for her, just leave it entirely alone. If you do, and you plan on acting on it, definitely talk to your friend first because that shit gets so sticky so fast. Yeah. And talk it, about staring it, contests. It, like, that is not... I don't... If I have... So, if I was in a situation where I liked a girl and the girl liked someone else, which I suppose has happened before, right? It's Never happened, happened to me. How not, could not it? to me, but... <laughs> I, I, to be honest, I don't remember a time where that's happened. I'm sure it's happened, right? you do no not, to not me, me. <laughs> but uh if it's happened to you i could maybe remember it <laughs> <laughs> but um so I, I i i don't imagine what i would do like i guess if i liked a girl and she liked someone else and it was my friend i guess that would it, it would be a thing that i would be like i would have to get over right yeah but who cares because if someone doesn't like you then well that is the, of the mind that i am like who <clears throat> yeah. gives a shit like yeah. if somebody doesn't like me then I'm like, oh, well, then... What do you care? I don't like them. Who else? But also, like, if someone doesn't like you, who do you care that they end up with? Like, they're, they're, they're not... You're not going to end up dating them. So, like, they could end up dating somebody you'd never met you're or talking, your fucking second cousin. It doesn't matter. Right. But you're talking as a cool guy that has options. Oh. Okay, fair enough. You know what I mean? Like, some guys are just like... Right, but that mindset... This is the girl I like. But that mindset is important either way. Uh, you're right. And, and helpful either way. You're right. And it helps have, to have that mindset. So, yeah. you know, whether you have tons of options or zero options, it's, it helps to have that mindset. Right. True. But but, but she is the girl I like. Yo, how about this? How about this? I saw her first. Ooh. Oh, the worst, dude. I, when it, uh, I saw her first is actually genuinely sexist because it's taking the agency yeah, yeah, away yeah, from the sure, fucking woman. Sure. Like it only, she's just like there yeah. and whoever actually literally laid eyes on her first, that's all that matters. Like what yeah. about what she wants? Yeah. That counts. That counts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, it's just uh, don't let it get sticky. If if you have no feelings in the first place, then who cares? It does seem like he has no feelings. Yeah, but he is anything. calling in though. True. So he might have feelings. All right. Well, next one. I like him though. Yeah, he is. I good. like his angle. I like his nose ring. Hey, Matt and Chris. So dutiful. So yeah. what's up, dude? This past week, I was staying at a resort with my girlfriend. Of course you were. Who was attending a conference with her coworkers. Uh-oh. And I hadn't met her coworkers yet, and I was not attending the conference. This guy's such a good voice. And so during the conference, her Speaking coworkers voice. kept asking her, like, "Oh, when are we gonna when are we gonna meet your boyfriend?" Oh boy! And an inside joke developed between them, where they would refer to me as something that's not my name, but starts with the first letter of my name. So like a different name entirely, or like yeah. a noun, a random object. Sure. So my girlfriend told me this and I'm like, okay, whatever, I don't care. Yeah, who cares? But then 
we were at a party on the last night of the conference and I finally met everyone and we're all sitting down at a table and they start this annoying. inside joke annoying. where they're calling me by something that's not my name. Oh, that's so And annoying. I didn't laugh because I didn't think it was funny. Also, why would you laugh anyway? And like, you know, I You're wanted involved. them to like me, but I'm not going to laugh at something in which they're making fun of my name just so that they like me. Mm -hmm. But like... It got awkward after that. So wow. I don't know. I just wish there was something that I could have said that would have been funny, but then also would have put them in their place. Because, like, if you want to talk to me, call me by my name. And if you're not going to, I'm not going to talk to you. Wow. So, Deeper. So Let me know what you guys think. We're getting to the root of the problem. His dad called him boy a lot, you know? <laughs> hey, boy. <laughs> I don't know. What do we think? I mean, I think, first of all, let it go, bro. It, it's not as serious as that. At first, I kind of was like with him, and then I was like, "Oh, I'm deeper." Yeah, I'm with him until he starts caring that they called him that. It's not that you shouldn't care that they called you by that, but you don't have to laugh at you. Shouldn't yeah. feel like you have to yeah. laugh because all that is is annoying. It's also and they shouldn't expect you to laugh because it's not you're yeah, you're not on you're the not inside of that joke. Yeah, and also it's not funny. Yeah, there's nothing funny about you, it. Yeah. You, you have to laugh. But I mean, I have a feeling like if it got awkward, if it got awkward, then it, he wasn't just not laughing. Right. He was like he, fuming. Yeah. He was like. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Steve and they're calling me Sax. Okay. <laughs> My name's not Sox. My name's not Simba. Okay. That's right. Great. You know? I'm glad everybody's having a great time except me. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm Steve. Or he, or he goes, funny. Yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess, to, to, I guess I'm just, my name's Sunset now, huh, guys? What, <laughs> what it might have been is like, so awkward. It wasn't it was so awkward. awkward, but his girlfriend was like, why didn't you laugh when they said that? Because, you knew why? It. Because women like to complain and, and then also have the, sh you know, make it about uh, no, something no, else. No, 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 because she and... wanted it to go over and everybody be friends with everybody. And Sadeep, are you? And <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Just let it go. And let it go. My, let it go. And it's not my name. He was just like, and I, you know, and they're not saying my name. And I just don't think it's funny. And yeah. it got real awkward. And so, like, just fucking fuming. You just don't laugh. Didn't eat at all. You know, <laughs> hasn't they, hasn't just slept like in days. The whole time, food just piled on. Just yeah, it's good food. <laughs> God, I, I want... wish we could see a video oh, of it. Oh, oh me wish. too. I yeah, wish. Try be... to take a video of it next time. Yeah, no, oh like it's gonna God, happen. I I, wish. It's not gonna happen again. No, 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 no. Not with this world famous podcast. Oh, well, not with the reaction that it ha he had. I don't think they're gonna do it again. Yeah, which are right, 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 right. You right, know, right. they're all right, scared right, of him right, now right. and shit. You know, <laughs> he has a great voice though. You should have like a radio show or something. That guy's got a good voice. You know what? Do radio. It's fine. Do radio. His voice is fine. You know that thing he's got a face for radio? Yeah. That's not what I meant. So okay. Don't take it. This guy seems sensitive. I don't want him to think yeah, I'm yeah, saying yeah, he's yeah. ugly. So I was on. He calls into fucking bad friends. So I was on <laughs> another podcast and they told me to uh, to do radio. Is it because I'm ugly? I mean, it's fine. I just got real awkward after, I, <laughs> after they said that. I was in my car just alone, kind of like. All right. All right. Matt and Chris, Sajubalin. I needed places. Sajubalin. The, the shirt is jubilant. I absolutely love this podcast. The too. Yeah. It is never not funny. Thank and you. the energy between the two of you is Aww, immaculate. Thank you. So I recently made the decision to pursue my doctorate in experimental psychology. Ooh. I'm currently 28 years old. How sick is that? another seven years of school. Wow. So very cool. Um, I went back to grad school late. So... Taking out student loans right now uh, at this particular point in time is dumb. Okay. However, that being said, I feel like I finally found the path that I want to go down. I love what I'm studying. I'm good at it. And there is a demand for this particular field. Okay. But I cannot seem to get over the fact that it means I have to slide into even more debt than I mm. am currently in just to finish this. And I know that if I keep this mindset, I'm not going to get through this program. Mm. I have a very, very long road ahead of me. So I could use some motivation if you're up for it. And any words of wisdom you have to offer in terms of reframing this in a more positive mindset long term, I could really hear right now too. So thanks. Love you both. All right. Dude, let's you say you're <sighs> let's let's just say you're fifteen thousand dollars in debt now. And if you take out student loans to finish this seven year program of experimental psychology, I think is what she said, mm -hmm. right? Uh 
then at the end of that, you'll be fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, well, uh, I'm just pulling right. We don't know. Math. And then let's say you don't do it, and in seven years you've paid off that fifteen thousand dollars, but it's just seven years have passed and you aren't shit yet yeah. that you want to be. It's always better to be. Once you graduate, you can get a fucking sick ass job as someone with a degree in experimental psychology and pay off 50 whatever thousand dollars it is way easier than you can probably pay $15,000 off now because you have a fucking degree in a okay, fucking that's a good sick point. department. Like you can do shit with that degree. Yeah. Uh, and also, it's seven years. If you don't do it, you're going to look back and be like, ah, what is debt? Who cares? Money right. is just money. Like I, I should have done the thing that I wanted to do. I, I, as far as I see it, you don't have a choice. You have to do that. It's in front of you. It's what you want to do. It's what you can do. And all you got to do is go deeper into debt to get it. Like it's worth it. That is worth it. That things cost, good things cost valuable prices for a reason. Foreign. <laughs> uh, and this is just the cost of doing business to get the, what you want in this department. Do it. Good things cost valuable prices. <laughs> um, I think a jeweler, you know. Um, I think that the energy of which you started talking about it to the energy of which you ended in the video was drastically different. And it's because of one thing, you became a little bit negative while you were talking. The positivity that you re radiate and the jubilant nature that you have Robot. Um, is what's going to propel you and get you through all mm. of everything that you need to. And I don't know what the market's like in the job uh, search of experimental uh psychology she said it's like a it's a it's a market that like needs people okay. to have degrees well yeah. i've had experimental psychology right. or psychiatry and um you know i know that the the people out there you would have you you're at least your vibe would have i would have really been it would have been welcome mm. um because not everybody's like that there are a lot of good people that go into this field because well, at least the people that i've i've uh yeah bet that manner isn't a given yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah exactly um so, I, you know, yeah, I think Matt's point is probably the best point. I mean, um, the alternative is a school. I mean, that sucks, man. You know, and I don't know how easy it is for you to pay it off per month or whatever it is per year, but it'll be easier once you have the fucking degree. That's for damn sure. Right. And if, if the jo job is in demand and if it's going to be in demand and whenever you're done, then and if you think that that looks promising, then I say you do it. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Remember when you called me a jeweler? I just didn't appreciate it. <laughs> uh, and I didn't laugh and Dude, I don't know I don't know what it's going to okay, be like man. I don't know what it's going to be like moving forward with you as my brother it'll be fine probably I can't okay. believe I'm 43 you want to try some of this cake or no sure live so, pips yeah live pips but don't we fly high look how I do it I'm looking a little bit further with the fork an infomercial oh I see yeah and just like that we're able to make a nice clean piece of cake how much would a thing that cuts cake really efficiently be a thing that there's an infomercial for oh yeah What's 100%. good is that we have plates. You know what I'm talking about? No. Oh, yeah, we don't. That's oh. The piece I want. That's the piece I want, too. I was going to grab it from you, but it's all good. Where's my piece? Is it good? Yeah. Well, here's the thing about you. You don't usually like things that are good. You like shitty things. This is good, or this is like the kind of shitty thing you like? You're going to like it. So it's not good. You don't like it? No. Yeah, okay. I knew it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Here, here, here. Here, here. Let's see if I'm right. All right. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, wow. Stab it in the back of your throat. <laughs> wow, that's sweet. That's good, though. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Chris Too early to eat that, but it's yeah, just good. Yeah, it's, you know, it's 6 a.m. right now, but. Yeah. And then you got me this. It's just so heavy. Yeah, it looks heavy. It's so it was like a bulletproof vest. I need to get one of those. A bulletproof face mask? Why don't they have those? Oh. Yeah, I thought it was going to be like... Come on, like, bro. Well, you're not supposed to open them. Until you're ready to They're use them. They're all like fucking squirty. They're supposed to be. He said, try it on. Oh. Hey, look. S squirty, you know? Try it on. Let's walk right up. They're like wet naps and shit, right? Oh, dude, I thought that was a. I thought it was like a COVID face mask. No. Uh, oh oh Anthony, wow, dude. This entire time I was like, why'd you get him a face mask? 
Anthony. <laughs> That's so stupid, dude. Wow, Anthony's laughing. I'm getting pissed off looking at you open Dude, that. it's so hot. Don't put it on your... You got sunglasses on. Yeah, so I'll have to... Well, now my hands are all wet. Can you do it? Shit, Keanu. I'm going to break out. In it. <laughs> I'm going to break out. We have a fucking red rash. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Hannibal Lecter, straight up. Okay. This straight up does nothing. I, there's no way this does Yeah, there's anything. no way that does shit. It smells really good, though. Okay, right. well, now you have 29. Oh, Enjoy them, yeah. Ew. Yeah, dude, it looks bad. It even looks disgusting on your hand when you have the liquid on it. Ew, dude, this thing sucks. Dude, you got it all over your face now. It looks like you got fucking sea jobby all over there. <laughs> I gotta wash my face. All dude. right, yeah. Well, let's end the show. Uh, thanks everybody for uh, coming on the Lifeline. We love you. Happy birthday, Chris. Thanks, and then also come see me in Ohio. Hopefully, the rash will be gone by then. <laughs> Chrislea.com. Uh, Mattalia.com if you want uh, one-on-one with me, privacy guaranteed. Uh, and we got the new merch, the Lifeline merch.com. And if you have a question, uh, click the link below. Or what's the other way to do it? Uh, ask Lifeline Ask Lifeline Ask Lifeline WatchLifeline.com uh, Thank you everybody uh, Hopefully Chris doesn't have a rash For his big special Coming up in a couple days And And next time we see you He will have shot His special Oh and look here he is Do you want to say something before we go? Yeah I got a little bit of that stuff in my eye And now I can't like really see On the can't right, see. On okay. the right. Okay. Now we can't see So I'll be blind gonna... and so much rash When I shoot this <laughs> So far Okay <laughs> Uh, we got the new merch. Buy your purple before it goes out of bu- out of stock. Before it goes out of business, guys. You know that's uh, going to be the hot seller. All right. Uh, love hot you guys. In the basement. See you All next right. week. See you guys. <laughs>